This just smells so fishy, uh, Gemma. What has the reaction been like in Barcelona? Uh, yeah, it, it, it does smell bad. And uh, a lot of the members, because this is a club, let's not forget, owned by members. And uh, a lot of members want an explanation. Uh, when did these payments start? Because there are new documents coming, le being leaked in the press every day with new information, more years and more money. When did this start? Why? What did these uh, uh, reports uh, were for? Uh, were they worth uh, half a million uh, per year as they were paying? And the truth is that there's no explanation so far. Only short, briefly explanation by President Joan Laporta denying everything, saying that this was this is normally what just uh, for reports about uh, young players, and no more explanation. So member, members are uh, really worried because uh, uh, at some point the, the, the public image of Barcelona, of course, is, is is in danger, and there's no explanation. When we try to ask Barcelona, what they say is that uh, there is an internal investigation being conduct, conducted by the compliance department, but also for an external department. Uh, and once they have that information, they, they will uh, come and talk uh, publicly. But I think every day they miss doing that explanation. Things like what Casillas is suggesting, that for during two years, uh, Barcelona were uh, take benefit from the referees and they won titles. And not only Casillas, but uh, rivals like Deportivo Coruña, Atletico Madrid, are, uh, Sevilla are saying that maybe we, we should have won that Copa del Rey or that Liga because uh, you were cheating. So there's no explanation yet. They they, they always say that they they will have an explanation when they have all the report. But as you were mentioning, it smells uh, really bad. To make sure no refereeing decisions were made against them, which is to say for everything to be neutral. I mean that's quite scary and uh, of an allegation. Uh, I don't think you should be paying anybody that's involved with the domestic league that you perform in as a player or as a club uh, in any way, shape or form. Now look, we used to get referees and ex-referees both when I was in, in England and in Scotland and playing with the national team to talk us through maybe some, some subtle law changes right. about, you know, you know, used to the tackle from behind and the World Cup in 98 was clearly going to be more stringent in what you could not could not get away with. And we used to get referees to come in, the managers would get them to come in and explain what they would perceive to be dangerous or a high, a high foot or, a, or an outstretched arm for handball. But these were just voluntary you right. know, uh, referees that would come in and discuss these things prior to the season. But when you are being alleged to have paid the referees, I mean, I know what Barcelona are saying. They're saying, well, we, we, we paid to, to, uh, to understand, make our players understand better what's an infringement and what's not, to curb the amount of yellow cards and to curb the disciplinary problems. And the ex-referee referee is saying, no, no, I, I was paid to instruct other referees, basically, yep. to make sure you could be as subtle about letting Barcelona get away with things other than the other teams, and that's what Ica Casillas is suggesting. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, no red cards and no penalties in, what, two years is, is quite a thing. <laughs> it's quite a thing. You've got to be some defensive team to be able to get away with that. Uh, Luis, what's your reaction to this? Same last grey. Uh, I mean, I think it's uh, difficult to, to understand that kind of situation. Of course, I think they didn't go notice when that happened a long time ago, but now with this kind of uh, evidence... Uh, totally true that uh, it, it creates a lot of doubts and certainties on what is happening around Barcelona. In this kind of moment where Barcelona is getting back to a good results, a good moment of uh, well, uh, playing well football, but therefore it's not easy. And I agree with you. We receive also uh, some uh, um, uh, reports when I was playing for Atletico Madrid from different um, referees to teach you what they were doing, uh, to tell you the way that they will go to approach uh, the different games, that they know that they were kind of get together the referee side to the player side and try to humanize a little bit both sides. So at the end, that, that connection has to be there, but I'm not sure how, how much it's worth. And definitely we'll look forward to see what is happening uh, right there. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.